Hello, I'm Melanie Hubbard and welcome to After LUTV News, where we will discuss interesting topics and news in pop culture with our panel of reporters. It's not just college students who are tweeting and doing it for the gram, it's politicians too. From President Donald Trump to Beto O'Rourke, politicians are using social media to engage with their audiences. Many feel that social media influence is influenced the outcome of the 2016 election, but a U.S. News and World Report study claims it has little influence. Panel, is social media being used wisely by politicians? Also, are social media users wise enough to make smart decisions on candidates despite the politicians' online presence? I don't know. Uh, let's take Donald Trump, for example. I believe that he uses his social media effectively, not necessarily wisely. Yes. He uses it effectively in the sense that he knows how to get his voters, his followers riled up. He knows exactly what to tweet in order for them to focus on a certain topic to either uh, enrage them to the point of change or um, kind of keep them focused on one thing instead of maybe something else that other people are trying to focus on. So I think that he uses it effectively, uh, wisely. That not so it's a clear. Thing. But <laughs> wouldn't you say that because he's on social media, he's tweeting all these things, even things are incorrect sometimes, that that kind of takes away from him, his image as a president? Well, I think that that is his image as a president. Um, I don't think he's really worried about a positive image at all I don't at think this point. But what about I someone like, like Abraham Lincoln, if they had Twitter back then and he was using that? Like, wouldn't that change how we view him, how we view Martin Luther King or, or anyone from history? It's hard to say because I think people are so different on social media than they are in, in real, real life. life. Right. True. Politicians' use of social media is all part of their brand building. Yeah. I actually want to take an issue with the statement made that social media has little influence on the outcomes of elections oh, yeah. because we know that individuals, especially politicians, are pouring millions of dollars into building their brand yeah. online. It's not an exact science, but it's being studied and it's being utilized, not just by politicians, but by actual corporations, by think people trying to sell you snacks, everything. So I think it's wise that Donald Trump is always on Twitter. I don't like what he says, but he's building his brand and we all recognize it. Yeah, and I mean, if you've ever seen his his Twitter, I mean, every single one of his tweets has tens of thousands of favorites or retweets. So people are seeing these in the thousands. So do you think it's um, kind of like strategically planned out Absolutely. and he's doing this just to go viral? And Absolutely. Like that? I don't think that he's just blindly tweeting. I think he knows exactly what he's doing. And I mean, he knows <laughs> whether or not he's doing it for the right reasons. It's, it's a great way to connect with the younger generation because Absolutely. I mean, a lot of younger people they want that, you know, they want to get on their phone and immediately find out what's going on. They don't want to read anything, so on and so forth. And also, pertaining to myself, there are certain candidates that will be running in 2020, like Andrew Yang. I had no idea who, who he was. Right. But because of social media, seeing him, I was curious. So it, it is good well, to And it. as each election, you know, it started in Barack Obama's election where social media really started to play. A central role in that and as each election goes by that's only going to increase what I think social media offers is a chance for people to feel more related to their candidate you know for example Beto O'Rourke has a huge uh, social media presence I mean people feel like they know him because of what he tweets and what he and, and how he responds to people and people feel like they have an easier access to these candidates and therefore are able to create actual change. Well, I want to reiterate that this is all part of the brand. Like Beto yes. O'Rourke, he went viral for skateboarding in a Whataburger parking lot. <laughs> that wasn't just because he's a cool guy who skates yeah. at Whataburger. That was this purposely planned out. Right. That out. Yeah, they're like, we've shown that your demographics, they love fast food because they're underpaid. So if we can get you skateboarding, they're really right. going to react well to that. And if you <laughs> notice, whenever you see him, he's at small town cafes or diners talking with, you know, the waiters or you know whatever he's not out you don't it's very rare to see him you know in a tuxedo at a banquet you know talking to politi other politicians or you know like influencers it's it's con it's everyday people that he's talking to and i think that's purposeful like well, should said. we all it, should we be used to politicians on social media? Is that something that we actually want? Or should we, do we want to like separate that and have, because you know, they all create this image and it, like you said earlier, it's not always 
who they really are off of uh, social media. I was going to bring up the fact that people like Kim Kardashian, she wants to pass the bar exam and most likely lead into politics. People like that we don't need, but because of social media, you know, everyone's been eating it up, everyone looks at her pictures, and she has a lot of fans, and mm -hmm. she could win, maybe, but it's like, that's one of the downsides of using social media. Well, but she you, has could used you her influence her? online to yeah. make really positive change. Talking about, especially in like prison reform. If you're, talk, if you're reform. talking about a brand, I mean, yes. she is her brand, and she built that on social media. She's Would a great example her as a president, of brand though? building. I don't think she's trying to <laughs> run for president or per in se. politics I mean, or anything like well, that. Well, I mean, take Donald Trump for example. Again, yeah. uh, you know, he was a reality yes. television star, still is. Yeah. You know, yeah. even though he's the president, <laughs> and I think what really it comes down to, people might think that's what they want. This is what we have. What are we going to do from here? You know, are people happy with what he's done, or are they disappointed, to say the least? That's really, elections are unpredictable in that sense. You can't really predict if Kim Kardashian's gonna be the next president or if it's gonna be, you know. Her husband, Kanye. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. And so I don't think that, I think that just has to do with people and their trends in voting. Absolutely. Well, thank you, panel, and thank you for tuning into After LUTV News. Be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter for more LUTV content. See you next time.